Good afternoon, good evening, <laughs> good morning. Welcome to the Actors Area. It's been a minute, so I uh, got caught up there. Had a bit of a brain fart, if you will. Welcome to the Actors Area. I'm your host, Sean Robert Grant, a.k.a. Reverend Sean Robert Grant in some of these parts. So happy to have you guys with me. It's been a long time, but we are back and we are ready to expunge and extrapolate on some more knowledge and insight. And uh, this episode is, it's really important because it sort of is a bit of a reawakening. Well, it's the product of it is a reawakening of um, what has unfolded in my life since the last time we were together here. And so I'm excited about getting into it because it really enables me to just share what I've learned and to help all those who are listening and all those who will listen uh, to this episode today. So wherever you're joining us from, whatever platform it is, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Uh, first things first, guys, if you have any questions, as always, please write to us at shaung04 at gmail.com and we will get back with you as soon as we can. We love feedback. We love comments. We love correspondence. You're not forced to do it, but if it feels authentic and it feels sincere and genuine to you, Boom, make it happen and we'll be happy to respond to you. So with that being said, it's been a few months. Let's get into it. Okay. And so today's message is personal for me because it's something that I just went through, something that I just discovered, not even necessarily went through, but had the pleasure of discovering and had the pleasure of realizing for myself and it is truly something magnificent in, in, in just every sense of the word. And I love it. I love where I'm at with it. I love where I've been and I love where it's going to go. So I'm just excited. And so today's topic is all about following your truth, right? Following the most authentic version of you as an actor and performer in this industry. And before we can do anything, we have to really dive deep and ask ourselves, okay, what does that look like, right? What does that look like? What does that feel like? What does it appear to be when my heart connects to my mind and I see it within? What is that? Because the reality is, and I teach this in every other sect that, you know, I'm specialized in. The reality is, is if you are in a position, okay, where you are being absolutely and truly authentic to who you are in every sense of the word, authentic, sincere, and genuine. You hear me say that a lot. You're going to succeed and you're going to succeed in a capacity that feels almost effortless, right? When we are out of sync with our authenticity, you know what happens? We struggle sometimes. We find it hard. We find it challenging. We find that everywhere we turn, there's a wall where there should be a door or a window for us to go through. And I'm speaking from pure blown experience when I talk about this, because this is something that has happened to me in this industry and unfolded. And in hindsight, looking back, I got some some great insight to uh, to share with you today as far as what helped me along. And so I'll get into it by just first off saying ever since I, I could remember, I was always a performer. I always loved the idea of performing. And when I was younger, you know, it was really about me being the star, me, me being in front of the camera. And, you know, there's still a bit of that that is present within me. But what I found after having the experience to be able to do that and enjoy it immensely, my highest value has leaned more towards helping other actors and performers to discover clarity and discover awareness that helps them to succeed. And this began to unfold, I would say, back in about, uh, I want to say about 2016, this began to unfold. And what began to happen is I felt like I experienced so much success at that time that I wanted to put myself into a position 
to where I could help others. Right. So I started writing the vibrational actor, a heart centered approach to acting. And then literally right after that powerhouse auditioning came and, you know, it took me a, 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 a little bit of time, a couple of years to publish those. But in the meantime, I was writing for backstage. I was writing for New York castings, writing for daily actor and um, also writing personal articles on medium.com as well. So I say that not to, you know, brag, but to, to show you the type of shift that began to happen. Not to mention this is, that's about the time this podcast started. And also when I started doing YouTube videos on different concepts with acting. So my point is I reached this space where my career began to transform into more of someone who's an actor and a performer that has a high, high value skill in the ability to teach, empower and inspire as well as support others and less about let me be the star, worry about myself, forget everything else. Right. Another thing was that was happening was I began to become more of a producer, more of a writer, more of a, of a, of a director, if you will. Those skills begin to develop also. And it, it just, it hit me at that time. But the funny thing was, is that I knew it, but because there was so much other stuff I was dealing on, a, dealing with on a spiritual level, I wasn't able to completely embark upon it in a way that I did, but I was still able to do extraordinarily well with what was happening and what was unfolding within my own consciousness. So what's interesting is, this began to happen and the success came so quickly, right? So fast. Whereas I'm writing for one publication and then they just, they're just un- unloading and just more and more and I'm getting more opportunities. And then there's a point in time, and this is before I really developed, you know, a really strong sense of self-worth. There's a point in time where I was like, Oh shit, I feel like an imposter. Like, should I be the one writing this? Should I be the one helping? And then I, I had some time to think about it. I'm like, absolutely. You know, I may not be completely 100% fully confident doing it, but I'm going to use my courage. I'm going to have the courage to continue to move forward with this because people need it and it's going to help them. And, and it's going to help people around the world. And that's exactly what it did. And it's saying it came so quickly. It came so easily. I can remember appearing on on different podcasts to talk about acting, um, doing different calls and, and, and having people write to me and ask certain questions and people even from backstage signing up to work with me and allowing me to help them along their path and their journey. And it was just remarkable. And something happened. <laughs> something happened. I began to get to a place where for whatever reason, my reason, my responsibility, and you know what? I'll I'll be completely upfront with you because I I preach about authenticity. The reality is, is because of the insecurities I had, I got tired of being behind the scenes and helping and not being in front of the camera. So you know what I did? And this is a this is a an extraordinarily pivotal, integral part of this story that you need to 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 take heed to um and really listen and understand the lesson that comes through from it. So I just got tired of being behind the camera. I got tired of not being the star. And that was just my own selfishness. That was my own low self worth thinking that I had to to be a certain way or look a certain way in order to be a success and be fulfilled. Well, you know what I did? I stopped writing for backstage. (laughs) I stopped, you know, doing all these things that I was doing on the level of a teacher, coach, loving, intuitive supporter. I was still working as an actor, but I made my primary objective about being the star of the show. And so, you know what happened? Things went from becoming easy opportunities showing up like, like you remember how I said they were just being unloaded onto my, my plate. Well, 
all that went out the window. I realized I was going to audition, audition, audition after audition and not booking anything, doing the very best that I could, literally coaching myself up, having my wife coach my, myself up and still not even getting a call back. And, and this went on for, I would have to say, man, it went on for about a year and a half because I just, I, I threw aside my high value ability to be what my ego or my lower self, if you will, this is a spiritual podcast, even though it's acting right. I threw that away to take what my lower self wanted and it completely derailed my ability to succeed in the way that I wanted to or a way that I thought I could do. And it was frustrating because I used to sit and I think to myself, well, I got so much talent. I got so much ability and all of a sudden I'm just not doing it. I'm not, I'm not succeeding in a way that I should be succeeding. And it was frustrating. And then I realized it came a, a, a became a come to Jesus moment as we called it in the church growing up where I realized, you know what? My value, my ultimate value lies in empowering others in teaching others in inspiring others in supporting others in exhorting others and edifying them and helping them along the lines to realize stuff that would further progress them in their path, whatever that may be and less about me just focusing on booking, 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 right? And when I did get to that point where I was booking, 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 booking back in, I think 2022, I was so exhausted. I was so worn out. And you know what? I felt I was happy, but I felt a bit of emptiness. And here's why. The fact that I was just booking left and right gave me no time to be a teacher, gave me no time to inspire, gave me no time to write articles and and, and be on podcasts and deliver life transforming advice to to. Um, aspiring actors and even working actors and actresses. I was so empty because once again, I wasn't following what was authentic and true to me. And I'll, I'll be completely honest with you, right? Once again, you gotta be authentic. There were times in 2022 where I was on set of, of some really magnificent projects. And I kid you not, I would be asking myself, what the fuck am I doing here? Right. Not all of it, but just enough of it fell out of sorts because it was out of balance with me using my high value, skilled ability, God given gift and talent of being a teacher as well as an actor performer, but more so a teacher, one who inspires one who uplifts, right? Can't say that enough, but it just fell out of sorts. And I felt that way for some time. And I was just always thinking to myself, why is that? Why do I feel this way? Why does it feels like, feels like something is missing. And the thing that was missing was I wasn't spending enough time instead of making my teaching coaching, if you will, my, my ability to lift others up as actors and performers, instead of making that first, I put that on the back burner and I put being the biggest star in the world first and it was so empty, but it was one of the greatest lessons that I could have ever experienced in my life as a performer. And here's why, and here's why it helps you. If you're not following your truth and your truth is basically who you are, who you came here to be and what resonates with you and feels at home in your very essence, you're taking away from yourself. You're taking away from yourself. You're losing the opportunity to embrace the divine blueprint that has been given to you to make the biggest contribution not just to this industry, but to 
life in general. And we often follow these off the beaten paths because sometimes one reason, sometimes multiple reasons. But in in most cases, it has a lot to do with what we think we want as opposed to what we truly want and know on a heart centered level what matters the most for us. And that's all that was, was not being connected to who I truly was at the time and following what I thought was supposed to be the most authentic path for me turned out it wasn't right. It wasn't at all. It was one of those things where I fooled myself into believing that that was the highest path. But the reality is if I look back on it, it was more or less for other people than it was for me. And I can, I can accept that truth 190% today because why would I ever want to be something that's not true to myself? And I encourage you to ask the same question because I can guarantee you we've got people listening around the world. And the question that has to be asked as an actor, as a performer, as a person is why would I ever want to be something that is not authentically me? That is not authentically true to myself. And that question alone, that simple question, you know what that does? It awakens something within us if we're ready to receive the answer, right? And it could be simply as easy as something, well, my parents always wanted me to be a star, so I feel like I need to be a star for them. Well, guess what? How long does that take, right? That could take all of their lives in a big chunk of yours trying to fulfill that because that's not in the cards for you, right? What if there comes a point in time where you're supposed to shift into being a director or shift into being, you know, a producer or whatever it is, something along the lines of, or even just a working actor, so to speak, where you just, you get to wake up and do what you love every day and, and, and make money doing it and you can support yourself. It may not be, you know, a huge amount of money, but it's enough money for you to live your life and continue to do what you love. And that's act, right? You may open a community theater. You never know. Like you never know what becomes the most authentic version of you, of yourself when you follow this dream in the entertainment industry. But the reality is, is you got to be open. You got to be open and you got to listen to your heart. You have to listen to your intuition And the reason why is because it will never guide you astray. You can be moving in one direction and be lying in bed one day in the morning and wake up and realize, you know what? I've been going west, but now I've got to take a U-turn and I sorry, not a U-turn, but take a left turn and I got to go east. And then east leads to north and north leads to south. And all of a sudden you're at a place where you never thought or never could have imagined you'd be, but you're so happy and so full of joy that you're there, right? And that's the beauty of it is that even if it does change or shift other than what you thought it should necessarily be, the beauty of it is it's going to be something that fulfills you. It always is. It never fails. This is how life works. So in realizing that, in understanding what we just talked about here. Are you being authentic to yourself as an actor, as a performer, as a producer, as a writer, as a director, right? As someone who works in production, are you being as authentic as you possibly can? Or are you doing it for the money? Are you doing it for the fame? Are you doing it because of the type of, people you might meet or the neat stuff you might get, right? Does the passion uphold as you dive deeper and deeper into the cause and the why of the reasons you're doing what you're doing? So this is not, (laughs) this is not what you would call one of these standard acting podcasts where 
I just sit here and give you um, these tips about (laughs) how to book more jobs and how to, you know, get more auditions and all this other crap. You know, not, not that that's crap. I can't say that is crap, but in a way it is because I can tell you from experience that stuff does not feed your soul. What feeds your soul is when you know you're being true to yourself. And if you know you're being true to yourself and you don't book one job, you can still be true to yourself and be happy. That's the reality of it all. My objective is I care more about the soul behind the actor the actress and the performer. I care because I know firsthand what happens when you don't shift with the essence of who you are in this industry and in life. You got to do it. So you got to ask the tough questions and you got to just look at it and see, okay, well, well, where am I? How is it working out for me? Is it easy? Is it hard? Right? Is it something that, you know, seems to be unfolding pretty gracefully, so to speak? Really take all of this into account because I'm going to tell you something. When you do, okay, when you take it into account and you understand that, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this. It's moving. Everything's working out pretty doggone smoothly. Guess what happens? You're going to feel it within. You're going to know without a shadow of a doubt that you are right where you need to be. And it is one of the most beautiful things when you know you are right where you need to be. Guys, that's all the time we got for today. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for listening in. Um, Really think about all of this stuff because life's too short to be able to to just kind of waste time, you know, and I, and I, I, I've come to terms with it, but I actually did that. If I would have stayed on that path, you know, who knows where it could have led to, but the thing is I'm back on the path now and I'm very happy about it. And there's no what ifs or anything like that, but learn from my mistakes, learn from, from my inability to know that it's my inner voice shifting me to do something completely different. And uh, use it to your advantage because I promise you when you do, it's it's going to take you places you never dreamed of. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions of any kind, please write to us, S-H-A-U-N-G-04 gmail.com. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Wherever you are, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Please share this podcast with anyone you feel would benefit from it. And uh, we're available on all platforms. With that being said, once again, thank you for your time. We will talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.